Nina, come on, Jesus freaking gamer here. Sorry I missed yesterday. I'm going to put out two videos tonight and make sure to cover what I missed yesterday as far as a quick little biblical oomph to get you going. Psalm 96 again. It's full of good stuff, starting at verse 4. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Give to the Lord glory and strength. <clears throat> Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Sometimes it is good to just do a little bit of meditating on who God is. Not the kind of meditation where you empty your mind. That's that doesn't really help you at all. <laughs> that is not beneficial in any way. The kind of meditation where you're actively thinking, biblical meditation, on who God is. I already did a, a whole 30-minute 30, uh, 30 message series on God's omniscience, omnipotence, and omnipresence. It's actually 30 minutes for each of the three. So that's an hour and a half of some, in my opinion, very good teaching there in regards to who God is and just... Most of us are, are familiar with the omni attributes of God, all-knowing, all-powerful, everywhere at once. But just to meditate on how great he is, on how he is the real God. Like you hear about, you hear about the gods of the other religions, you hear about the ideologies and other philosophies of other peoples, and none of them just, none of them really match up to the Judeo-Christian God. They just, they don't cut it. They don't nail it. They don't hit those kind of heights. A being who is so far above anything and everything else. You want to look at the stars and the heavens and see how beautiful they are? He's the one who made the heavens. Strength, beauty, honor, and majesty are before him and in his sanctuary. You want to see something that is just mind-blowingly wonderful? You look to God. You look at him and you think on how big and how wonderful and how great he is. To so my brothers and sisters in Christ... For all of the circumstances that sometimes seem to overwhelm us, remember and meditate on how big God is. He's so much bigger than all the stuff that goes on down here. He's the one who created us, this world, the entire universe, and the heavens that are on top of this physical universe. And he's in charge of all of that. He is so big and so powerful and so beautiful. So as verse 7 says... To all the families of the peoples, give to the Lord glory, strength. Verse 8, the glory do his name. Bring an offering. Come into his courts. You don't do rams and bulls and sheep anymore. But a sacrifice of praise, a sacrifice of your heart, acknowledging who he is, recognizing how great and glorious he is. A lot of the times in praise and worship, we'd sing about how great and wonderful God is. And I, today is an encouragement, whether you sing it or not, just think about who God is and the great price he paid on the cross so that me and you can be close to him. He is absolutely deserving of all the praise, of all the glory, of all the offerings we could possibly ever bring him. Not only did he create us, not only is he a great guy, but he died for us. We should worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness to repent in the bottom of our hearts of anything that is between us and Him, things we know we shouldn't be doing to repent of those things, to come before Him and just worship Him, even to tremble before Him, to realize how big and how mighty He is and all of the earth. Every Christian in the world who sees this and who doesn't see this, every Christian should be bowing before Him and trembling before Him because He's big He's mighty, and we also give him praise, honor, glory, and majesty because he is also good and loving and peaceable toward us. So guys, hopefully that was, again, that just oomph, that shot of energy that um, will just push you through another day, maybe another few days. I hope to be encouraging in this channel. I hope to encourage people toward God and to remind them of how great he is. Right now we're in kind of the, a joyful time. A lot of these psalms just have a lot of good, positive stuff. And while, you know, the problems of life need to be confronted, sometimes it's just good to be reminded how great God is and how good he is and how good things are. 
because of the one who's in charge. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.